So guys, welcome back to the channel. Touching down from Pai, Northern Thailand. Not as always. <laughs> Today, I'm going to show you my digs. I'm going to show you my number one hotel for the night because I'm moving again tomorrow. So this is my first hotel that I'm going to stay at for one night. Before I go any further, I want to shout out to Danish Bacon, my subscriber. He's the one that told me about this place and I looked it up and it was all right, Bobby Dazzler. And I've settled in, got my room and yeah, he was right. It's a great place. So this place is called Boeng Pai Fishing Cottages. It's, a, it's got a big lake and it's known for people coming here fishing. And we're about five minutes out of the Pai town, which is perfect for me. It really is. So we're just down on a little road here. So we're just down on a small road. You can't go wrong with that, can you? Look at the views. Got the big Buddha up there. We're going up there, man. We're going up there one day. This is it. Boeng Pai Farm. Boeng Pai Farm fishing park and bungalows. And my little bungalow is an absolute beauty. Small road. And I got here and on the lady on reception said she's going to cook me some free food. So she's got the rice and that on the go for me. Happy days. She's got shaded parking over there. I've got Lucille all in the shade. You come in like this. It's all shaded and nice. It is a, it's a great place. I, I'm already thinking about staying on longer here. So as soon as you come in, you got all these can buy your noodles and things like that eggs what's an egg three baht is it i don't know get your bread 10 baht 10 baht water toilet row so they got all that there you got a chill out place here and yeah there's not many people staying here in town there's loads of people but here it doesn't seem to be people staying and when I contacted her on Facebook, she said they don't take bookings on any of the sites. They, they only do it by contacting them. So that's what I've done through Facebook Messenger. I will leave the Facebook page down below along with the location, guys. So if you walk down here, you've got a small lake here. With, uh, with another chill out zone here, big space. In here we got the kitchen where On's cooking up a treat. She's gonna do me some lovely grub, man. And down here they grow all their own stuff as well. Not this one. This one cactus and stuff. But in here, I mean, Pai really is a hippie town. That's what I've noticed already, just riding through it. And in here, look, you got a kitchen anybody can come in lights work I don't think the lights work do they don't work man or maybe it works in here there we go so on said I can come in here whenever I want it's open 24 7 you can make toast you can make tea they've got hot water here and free bananas I'll have a couple of them. You can do all your cooking, microwave, cups. And if you buy any food, you can put it in there with your room number on. See, lots of people have done it, but I won't be here for that long, I doubt it. But it's cool, isn't it? You can come in here, get a free coffee, get a free tea. Keep quiet, we are shared this place together. We'll walk on down. So here, they're growing some more veggies and greenery. We've got another spot down here, you can come and chill. I might come down here tonight, this evening. And they've got hammocks everywhere. Right, so down here is the, the small bungalows and the fishing lake. Oh, it was nearly going in that bungalow then. I've just seen a Thai guy, he's got number one, I've got number three. People come here fishing normally. And then you've got the bungalows all the way around. There's mine down there. We're gonna go and have a look in a minute. You've got the mountains behind. 
See, I got one like this, but on this side, you can get them like this as well, look. Where you've got an upstairs and then a downstairs kitchen. So you got your toilet and stuff downstairs and your room upstairs. I would say that one could be a little bit cheaper. I've got to show you this. Look at that, amazing, right? And this one is a different design. Just think of having your pad like that, right next to the rice field in the mountains. I'd say this side could get a bit hot, I would have thought. Right, so this one is mine, guys. This is mine, number three for the night. And how's about that then? How's about that? Waking up to that's gonna be brilliant. Straight outside my door. I've got me, got my seat there, got my hammock lit. Might go in that one later. And this is my view. There's nobody here fishing either. And this is me for the night. Number three, man. And they got a padlock on the door and they give you this key with the Wi-Fi on it. This is it, guys. This is my room. Sorry about the mess, I've just unpacked, got a laptop out. I'm already on it, guys, I'm already on it. I'm already on the vlogs for you. You get a fan so you don't get no air con in here. But you get a mosquito net. Nice big bed and it's clean. I've, I've been around and looked at everything. You get a nice clean bed. Nice desk, I could live here, no problems. The desk was well important. I can get some stuff done. You get free water. Got the fan on and the mozzie net. I'll be having that one down tonight. And out here, you've got like an outside jobby toilet, so you got all mesh up the top. And your bathroom, I've had a quick shower already. I'll just walk down further a minute because I've not walked down any further. See what else there is here. Then, on will probably have the food ready. Ah, that one there would have been good. It's a bit more shady. I reckon somebody's got that one though. A bit more shady down here, isn't it? The peace and the quiet is... I know it's going to do me the world of good already. Look at that. People out. Got some people out. Looks like they're building there. Building a new hotel or something. So there's a few things that I wanted to add about this place after I left here guys. This place was 800 baht a night, which was, yeah, which was a bit more expensive from the other places I've seen around Pai. Um, you're paying for the fishing, the lake and the scenery really. It was a lovely place and On was a great host and I would stay there again. But the place that I went to, the next night, which you will see in the coming vlogs, was half the price and I preferred the room at the cheaper place that I'm sleeping at next, you will see in the next vlogs. So, yes, yeah, a great place if you're into fishing or you like to be by the lake. 800 baht is still cheap, right? It's very cheap, but you can get a lot cheaper in Pai. You can get 300 a night, 400 a night for a bungalow. But here, yeah, you are paying for that fishing lake and where you where you are that view looking out over the water so it's a great place um, like I said I did prefer the, the place that's coming up in the next night but I just wanted to mention that Boeng farm is amazing 800 baht still cheap still a bargain and I would go there again <laughs> yes 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 fried rice some vegetables some cucumber, some salad. Mm. What is it now? About 1 p.m. Now I'm starving. Just put this banana in. Yeah, what I will say is the mozzies here, the mozzies here are like 10 notches above. Chiang Mai, I've found loads on me already. So I'm gonna have to be on alert. 
all the time and I didn't bring no repellent with me right so my battery died before I could finish this vlog guys I was eating my food and getting a couple bananas and the battery died so it's a great place if you're into fishing this place is absolutely perfect even if you're not it's a great place to stay um, it is a little bit maybe a little bit expensive for pie and I would recommend Buang farm all day long hopefully I will come back here maybe maybe another time I'll come back here and stay but the one that's coming up I absolutely love so you will see that one in the coming days anyway I'm gonna finish this vlog now it was only a short vlog to show the first night's accommodation and the amazing Boang fishing farm bungalows on is an amazing lady she will take care of everything for you here so I hope you're all safe and sound as always guys and I will see you in the next one coming up soon where we're out and about in Pai so take it easy man take it easy